Hey guys, Prince Medic is here. Positim is an exam universities use to test the academic ability of their potential students. Hence, it's not an exam to joke with. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the seven most repeated chemistry topics in POSITMEs, irrespective of the university of your choice. Please stay tuned. Before we delve into the video proper, I want to say a special thank you to all my 91 subscribers. You motivate me to keep posting impactful videos. Thank you. Let's delve into the video. The first is the periodic table. This topic forms the foundational aspect of secondary school chemistry, so it is very important. Here you should know the first 20 elements and their symbols. You should know the trend across a period and across the groups. You should know the names the groups are called. Group 1 are called alkali metals. Group 2 are called alkali F metals. Group 7 are called halogens. Group 8 or group 0, depending on the textbook you are using, are called noble or rare gases. And group 6 are called power cotons. Pay attention to this. If you think you know all I've said, attempt the question on your screen and leave the answer in the comment section. The next is separation techniques. You should know the difference between mixtures and compounds. You should know the difference between pure and impure substances. You should know the types of separation techniques we have and the applications. For example, if you are given a mixture that contains ammonium chloride, we know ammonium chloride sublimates. So you should immediately start looking for the option with sublimation in it. With that, by elimination, you can even find your answer. Attempt the question on your screen and leave the answer in the comment section below. The third is acids, bases and salts. Here you should know the definition of an acid, definition of a base, definition of salts. You should know the difference between acids and bases. You should know their characteristics. You should know the types of salts we have. You should get yourself acquainted with the water of crystallization, the concept of efflorescence, hygroscopy and deliquescence with the examples. Pay attention to this. If you think you already know this, attempt the question on your screen. The fourth is IUPAC nomenclature. IUPAC stands for International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. There's a body tied with the responsibility of stating the rules of naming compounds. For example, 8NO3 stands for trioxonitrate 5 acid because of IUPAC rules. If you think you've mastered the concept of oxidation and IUPAC nomenclature, what is the compound on your screen called? Leave the answer in the comment section. In addition, attempt the question on your screen. Atomic structure and quantum chemistry. Just kidding. Back to business. The fifth, atomic structure and quantum chemistry. Here you should get acquainted with the particles of atom, the proton, the neutron, and the electron. Electrons are usually found in the shell of the atom, the protons and the neutron in the nucleus. Pay attention to this. Very, very important. A bonus point, a very, very vital point. You should know that protons are 1,840 times heavier than electrons. You should know those that discovered these particles. Electron was discovered by J.J. Thompson, Chadwick discovered neutron, and Rutherford discovered proton. Though I have my reservation concerning who discovered proton, because if you actually read how the proton was discovered, you find out the students of Rutherford that did that, not him himself. You should know the SPDF, you should know the rules that guide the feeling of electrons in the orbitals. You should know Hunt's rule. You should know poly exclusion principle. You should know half bows principle. This principle, you should have them at your fingertips. Very, very important. Know this and thank me later. You should know the rules that guide the feeling of electrons in orbitals. You should know Hunt's rule, Arbaugh's principle, and poly exclusion principle. A little mnemonic to remember this. Hunt's rule, remember it with Hunt's pairing because it talks about pairing of electrons. You should know Arbaugh's principle with Arbaugh's rising or Arbaugh's increasing because it talks about increasing energy level. And then poly exclusion principle to an extent explains itself. So, Go ahead and know those. And in addition, attempt the question on this screen. Kinetics. Don't mind me, I'm just joking. Kinetic theory. 
and gas laws. You should understand the concepts of kinetic theory. You should know the gas laws. You should know Boyce's law, Charles law, Gay-Lussac's law of combining volumes, Graham's law of diffusion, and Dalton's law of partial pressure. Very, very important. In addition, know the general gas equation. You should also know the ideal gas equation. Know this and thank me later. In addition, I tell, <laughs> I tell the Christian on your screen, don't mind me. And the last is organic chemistry. There's a home of many positive Christians. Here you should know the IOPAC rules for naming organic compounds. You should know the difference between aliphatic and aromatic compounds. You should know the following and their definition. Homologous series, functional groups, the difference between saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. You should know saponification. You should know several organic compounds and their uses. Pay attention to this and you do well in your proceeding. Thank you for staying to the end. I believe this video was insightful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Click the video on your screen and continue the series. Thank you.